Hello everyone. Let us deal with this problem very quickly. We have square root of x square root of x equal to 4 over x. Okay, so what we should do is to cross multiply first. So it's going to be this times this and we'll have x square root of x then square root of x which will be equal to 4. Now what do I do? This is very simple. This is the same thing as x to the power of 1 multiplied by x to the power of 1 over 2 multiplied by x to the power of 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 equal to 4. Now if you're a beginner, you'll be asking, what is this guy doing? Now, this x is outside of the root, so it's going to be x to the power of 1. Then this second x is under 1 square root sign, so it's to have power of 1 over 2. Because any number to the power of 1 over 2 is the same as the square root of the number. Then this x here is the third x, is under 2 square root sign. So that means we're going to have... 1 over 2 in two places just like I did and everything equals 4. Take a step again so we have x to the power of 1 multiplied by x to the power of 1 over 2 multiplied by x to the power of 1 over 4. 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 2 is 4 and this is equal to 4. And now what should I do? The next thing I'm going to do is that um, I should obey one of the rules of indices or the laws of indices that says if you have x to the power of 1, okay, let me use a now, a to the power of 1 times a to the power of 1 times a to the power of 1. This is the same thing as a to the power of 3 because you pick one of the bases and add the powers. So I'll pick x now because it's common. Then I will add all the powers. So we have x, then 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4. This is equal to 4. Now, what I want to do next is to deal with, okay, is to deal with the powers so that um, we have x to the power. The LCM of the whole of this is 4 write 4 for the LCM of the powers or the exponent then 4 times 1 is 4 plus 4 divided by 2 is 2 times 2 um, times 1 is 2 plus 4 divided by 4 is 1 times 1 is 1 and the whole of this will be equal to 4 now this means that we have x to the power of 7 over 4 to be equal to 4 Yes, this is what we have now. But now we have to eliminate this power from here. So we have to have x to the power of 7 over 4. Now multiply by the reciprocal of the power, which will be 4 over 7. Reciprocal is where you turn it over. Okay, and now that I have the reciprocal here, it has to reflect on the right. So I must have 4 to the power of 4 over 7 so that from here this will cancel this then 4 will cancel that and then x will be equal to 4 to the power of um, 4 over 7 okay now this is the same thing as x being equal to um okay this is x being equal to the seventh root the seventh root of four to the power of four the seventh root of four to the power of four but if you like you can stop here and you will still be correct okay now let's put this back into the original equation and see what we are going to get if that is necessary Okay, so this is the value of x that we have, and then this is the original equation. So let's put all of this into this. 
we are going to have um, 4x now. We have 4 to the power. Okay, this will be under a square root sign. 4 to the power of 4 over 7 multiplied by the square root of 4 to the power of 4 over 7. Then on the right hand side, we are going to have 4. Okay, and this will be over 4 to the power of 4 over 7. Now you're going to learn from here a lot. Now the question is, will this be equal to this? Let me deal with the left hand side first. So from here now, this is the same thing as 4 to the power of 4 over 7, right? Then the whole of this will be raised to the power of 1 over 2 because it is under one square root sign. Then multiply by the other is going to be 4 to the power of 4 over 7. Now this is under two square root signs, so I'm going to have 1 over 4 because normally it's supposed to be 1 over 2 times 1 over 2, um, 1 over 2, and that will give us 1 over 4. Now from here, 2 can go there, and then we're going to have 4 to the power of 1 over 7. Okay, it's actually 2, because 2 into 4 is 2, then 7 comes under. Then multiply by, on this side, this will go there, and we will have um, 4, okay, to the power of 1 over 7. I'm still dealing with the left hand side, but the question is, will this be equal to what we have on the right hand side? Hold on, let's continue. Now the LCM, um, the bases are the same, pick one of them, then add the powers, 2 over 7 plus 1 over 7. Now let's continue to this place. This is 4 again. This is 7 as the LCM. Then we have 2 plus, um, 2 plus 1. Now at the end of the day, the left hand side is giving us 4 to the power of 3 over 7. This is what we have on the left hand side. Now let's pick the right hand side where we have 4 over 4 to the power of 4 over 7. Everything is 4, 4, 4. 4 over 4 to the power of 4 over 7. Now, let's deal with this. Let's deal with this. Now, we have to... Remember, this is still to the power of 1. We are having um the same base. So, pick one of them. Then, because this is division, we subtract the powers. And we're going to have 1 minus 4 over 7. This is for the right hand side. Then this will give us 4. The LCM is 7. So 7 times 1 is 7 minus here we have 4. This is what we have. And if we continue with this, then we have 4 to the power of 7 minus 4 is 3. Then we have um, 7. And then compare the right. This is what we got on the left hand side. And this is what we are having on the right hand side. And they are the same thing, right? Okay, so this is a confirmation that x to be equal to 4 to the power of 4 over 7 actually satisfies the equation. Thank you for watching. I believe you've learned something new.